This week, we're going to talk about how to calculate how fast your camera should move when you're doing a pan or a tilt. Very interesting. Welcome to 5 Minutes for Filmmakers. Hello. Welcome once again to 5 Minutes for Filmmakers. I'm Mike Lacoskas with Disobedient Productions. And once more this week, we're being brought to you by the Florida Independent Filmmakers. Our first story this week is about how fast to move the camera when you're going to do a pan or a tilt so that you don't get that blur effect when you move too quickly. I thought it was really kind of cool. Thought you'd be interested. I know I was. Let's get right into it. Out on Premium Beat, Norm Kroll has posted up a uh, little blog article with some videos attached. And it talks about when you want to shoot on a DSLR, shooting at 24 frames per second, how to calculate how quickly you can safely move your camera angle in a pan or a tilt shot without getting that blur effect that you get when you try to pan too quickly. And he goes into a little bit of discussion on it, but the best part of it, in my opinion, is that he gives you a couple of links to some calculators. And it'll tell you 2 degrees or 1.5 degrees per second that you can move that camera safely and not have your footage suffer. And I found that to just be a very helpful little tip that I'll be keeping in my toolkit going down the road because that's one of those things that you don't need it until you need it and then you got to have it. First, full disclosure, we had reservations about passing this one along because the audio on this thing is really, really poor. But in the end, the content we decided was meaningful enough that we we should go ahead and call this one out. And it's from a young man named Jason Melanson. And it is about the psychology of editing. He brings up some really good, intelligent reasons for why you should edit something a particular way, where you should make those cuts, how long you should hang on particular things, the meaningfulness of a close-up versus a wide shot, and gets into some really good technical detail about the emotion you're pulling out of the viewer because of those decisions, which is what we're doing. I mean, when you get down to it, the whole point of making the movie is to elicit that audience response that you are looking for, whether it be a comedy or drama or tragedy or horror. And you can really do that so much better if you edit intelligently. On the local side, if you would like to have access to professional equipment for video or audio work, you got a band, you want to record some things, heck, even want to just play around and learn more about it, but you can't afford to just go out and buy ten or twenty thousand dollars worth of equipment. If you're in Orange County, in the downtown library, there is a thing called the Melrose Center. It is a fantastic setup for free. You may have to take a couple of classes to learn how to properly operate the equipment, but it's there for the public to use. And of course, as I tell you every week, Florida Independent Filmmakers is the sponsor of this program. Now, Florida Independent Filmmakers is a nonprofit 501c6 registered in the state of Florida. No one earns a paycheck. All work is volunteer. We are dedicated as a group to learning and promoting the independent filmmaking business. And we would love to have you join our organization. You can head out onto the FloridaIndependentFilmmakers.com website. 
To get more information, just click on the About button, as well as look us up on Facebook under Florida Independent Filmmakers. Once again, thank you so much for joining us here. We do appreciate your viewing. We hope we're bringing you the kinds of content that are helpful to you in your endeavors. If there's something more detailed you'd like to see on a particular subject, please let us know in the comments down below, or feel free to email me directly, mike at disobedientproductions.com, and we'll get to that directly. I'm Mike Lakoskis with Disobedient Productions. This has been 5 Minutes for Filmmakers. Please continue filming.